What's up, guys? In here, Coach of Your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week three team builder for NCL Season 7, taking on Amish and the Squ uh, Singapore Sobble Squad. His team consists of Garchomp, Togekiss, Incineroar, Vaporeon, Deancey, Rotom Fan, Megalopony, Metagross, Delmize, Toxtricity, and Ndidi. His priority users are the Incineroar with Fake Out, Lopony with Fake Out and Quick Attack, and Me uh, Metagross with Bullet Punch. Hazard setting, Chomp with uh, Rocks, Deancey with Rocks, Mega... Um, not Mega, oh my god. Regular Metagross with Rocks. Removal options, Togekiss with Defog, Delmas with Rapid Spin, Rotom with Defog. And four times weaknesses, uh, Garchomp to Ice, Deancey to Steel, and Toxtricity to Ground. The only thing I was not really thinking is going to come here is uh, probably Delmise. Um, it's sort of up in the air. There's like one... Delmise is the only Dracozolt check on his entire team, so it, it absolutely could come. And if it does come, then that means that it uh, opens up a slot for something a lot more scary not to come. Toxtricity, uh, I didn't think was coming originally because I do have double ground and a lot of my team naturally outspeeds it. But um, in hindsight, if it can set up on something like Chestnut or Empoleon, uh, then he's got a much better chance of it being able to actually do something in this game. Uh, I kind of like didn't stress over it in prep. And then today when I was looking over my team again, I was like, oh my God, I absolutely lose to Shift Gear, Throat Spray, Toxtricity. So. Excuse me, if we lose to that, I, I don't really think I have any counterplay to it. I have to bring, like, Spideff Gliscor. Gliscor's not even coming, but I have to bring, like, Spideff Gliscor for it. And Spideff Gliscor gets roasted by the rest of this team, so um, there's not really any counterplay options that I have. I would need, like, eight, seven or eight uh, team slots this week to actually be able to cover everything that I want to. Biggest thing that I know is coming for sure is the Megalopony, uh, as well as Indeedy. So... He's been spamming in DD all season. Um, like, it's come to every single game. He's got eight kills or something in two games for him already. Like, this is absolutely the Mon that he has put the most offensive pressure on. And I think that it's definitely coming against me. I'm a little bit hesitant to say that Garchomp is coming. I do have double electric, so it would make sense for him to bring his ground. But he hasn't really been on the Garchomp hype train. Vaporeon, I could definitely see coming. Togekiss is probably coming as a Dark Ride check. Um, Metagross, I actually think Metagross is probably a little bit less likely, uh, despite the fact that it can revenge kill Mega Gardevoir. Um, he could still bring it, it's probably less likely. Same with Deante, same with Rotom Fan. If I had to guess, I think uh, Garchomp, Togekiss, Incineroar, Vaporeon, Megalopony, and Indeedee uh, would be the mons that are coming against me. Vaporeon and Metagross could probably swap out, and that's about what I'm thinking is going to come against me. Um, yeah, so let's just go over what I'm bringing then. So first up is Chestnut. Chestnut is awful, just like it was last week against Jed, but it's necessary because it's my only physical wall this game that can handle uh, Megalopony because Gliscor just gets bodied by Ice Punch. Same as what happened last week against the Urshifu, um, or against the Urshifu Rapid Strike. I just couldn't handle that with Gliscor at all. And so Gliscor was dedicated to the Zardex in that one, which it could actually handle. And in this one, it could probably handle the Megalopony. Um, maybe okay. It's definitely carrying Ice Punch for it. But there's also things like Vaporeon that are just a pain in the ass. I know that if the Garchomp comes, it's also going to be carrying Aqua Tail for it. Um, but besides that, I mean, Gliscor is not terrible, right? It's not horrible. It could definitely be better, but it could also be worse in this one. It's just, it's not coming. Maybe in a rematch, I would bring Gliscor over something else. I'm not entirely sure how I would build for a rematch at this point. But yeah, that's that's why Chestnut's here. It's for Lopany. Um, in theory, it can also take on the Garchomp. If he brings Garchomp, it's probably not going to be set up. I don't think he has the move slots for setup, uh, Unless he's really going for hard setup and he's just going to use like plus four and Dragon Claw Gar uh, Gliscor to death. Uh, I think it needs a fire move to, to check Chestnut here. Um, Chestnut can also check the Delmize and it can semi check the Metagross, which is fine. So I have Spikes, Drain Punch, Toxic, and Leech Seed. Toxic is there to catch things like the Togekiss switching in. I don't have any stab to hit uh, Vaporeon, but Toxic is good against a lot of this team. Anything not named Metagross, um, I'd like to Toxic or Toxtricity, which I actually, uh, I'm not sure what I do against Toxtricity. I, I maybe kill myself. Like, I, I don't know. It's going to click Sludge Wave, and I, I don't have a single Poison Resist on, on the team right now. So that's really going to suck. Leech Seed is there for some extra recovery. Uh, spikes do a lot of good damage against this team. Um, grounded targets like Vaporeon and whatnot really don't like the Spikes. It sh helps whittle down the Lopany and the Indeedy a lot, which I think is really important in this game. Uh, I'm just fully physically defensive with a Rocky Helmet to be able to take on Lopany. I don't really know that Bulletproof actually does anything for me. 
uh, over overgrow, but I'm not running grass move anyways, so bulletproof is going to be a lot more beneficial because I'm not running a grass move. And Polion is my other defensive mon this week, especially defensive to take on Ndidi. Completely necessary. Ndidi does not get any uh, fighting coverage, and I'm actually blanking on if it gets any like electric coverage, which I should definitely look up now. I looked this up the other day because he's basically been running like expanding force dazzling gleam every game um and i was pretty sure that it couldn't handle empoleon yeah it's like energy ball is the it doesn't get electric coverage so energy ball is like the best move that it has and or energy ball or shadow ball are the best moves that it has to hit empoleon or drain punch which is physical um mystical fire could be something that it could run to but i, I don't really see a reason for it to do that necessarily uh, it could and it would lower my special attack and that'd be annoying um but it probably won't I don't know what else it would even want to run Mystical Fire for, uh, and it probably doesn't have the move slots for all of those. Um, Expanding Force will be good enough for it, plus um, plus Dazzling Gleam for Darkrai, and then it might carry, it probably will carry Shadow Ball from Gardevoir, and then a filler move. Like, it doesn't really need anything past that, so uh, that is what I imagine the NDD set will be. I'm also imagining it's going to be the NDD Male, which is the uh, faster one, base 95, so that it can speed tie with Gliscor, and it'll outspeed Venomoth, which I think is going to be uh, pretty key. I'm definitely anticipating a Scarf variant rather than a Specs variant this week, um, but I could see a bunch of other things coming. Empoleon is the check to that. That's really all there is to it. Empoleon also has to switch into Tokus, also has to switch into DNC, uh, and also has to switch into Vaporeon. And it's really bad against Rotom Fan and Toxtricity, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I need Gliscor for both of those. I'm kind of just praying neither of them come, because I have dual grounds. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Uh, I have to be this. I have to be uh, this set. I'm running a tiny bit of speed to outspeed no-speed Vaporeon. Um, no, that's not right. Vaporeon's way faster than me. I'm outspeeding no-speed Incineroar. I need to outspeed no-speed Vaporeon. Um... This would be 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we want to be there. Uh, now I'm speeding no speed of Vaporeon. Um, toxic for, for all those things, like I mentioned, rocks is more just residual damage. I, I think hazards, if I can get them up this game and keep them up, will be really good. His removal is, is like not good because um, I don't think Rotom Fan is coming. And that used to be Sceptile, by the way, <laughs> before this week. Togekiss is probably going to carry Defog if it's going to be anything. Again, unless Delmize comes, then it could be the spinner for sure. I'm kind of like building on my Hazard game this week. I'm not bringing one of everything, but I am bringing Webs as well with Vikavolt, as well as Rocks and Spikes. So, uh, Scald and Ice Beam. I mean, Ice Beam is there to hit D Delmize, I guess. And then Scald hits everything else, not named Vaporeon, which I just sit on with Toxic. Um... Guard of War, I am Torrent as well, just for higher power Scalds later on. Uh, Guard of War, I'm running a modest variant with Trace. So Trace is, uh, it, I guess it's something, like, I could Trace, like, Serene Grace from Togekiss. I'm going to be slower than it if I stay in this form. Um, tracing, like, Rough Skin. Tracing Intimidate is probably the biggest one, or Water Absorb from Vaporeon. Um, I don't really think anything else really helps all that much. Steelworker is not really going to do anything for me. Levitate is not doing anything for me psychic surge i mean i could like reset psychic terrain or something that might be really bad for me or really good for me i don't know but i think trace is better than synchronize so that is what i'm going with on gardevoir so running wish calm mind two attacks uh hyper voice and shadow ball hits the entire team shadow ball is there to hit the metagross and the delmize harder than mystical firewood and hyper voice uh slaps everything else i don't really need a psychic move the only thing that i would click a psychic move on is the um the toxicity and i probably shouldn't be staying in on that anyways if it the more that i'm thinking about it the more i think it'll be scarf if it comes rather than ndd so i'm not sure about that one i'm speed creeping something in particular i'm out speeding metagross with this rather than speed creeping like a bunch of other things so i could be speed creeping like togekiss um which i don't think is going to run max speed i could be speed creeping like Rotom Fan, I could be speed creeping in DD. I just didn't really see a point, you know. Um, so I'm going for the higher power. Man, that might bite me in the ass really hard. I don't know why I'm not speed creeping in DD. 
Like, I'm getting a lot of bulk out of this, but this also could be horrible for me. I kind of want to revert this and just speed creep in DD to be safe. I guess I figured that... I guess I figured that Bullet Punch would pick me off either way. So, yeah, this is this is dumb. Um, I want to be speed creeping in DD. Which is going to be timid. I need, like, all of those. Uh, 100... Down to 95. So this is... No, I'm just going to do it on the other tab. And we'll move on to the to the next spawn here. Um, before I do that. So, uh, actually, I guess I'll talk a little bit more. Uh, wishes just for some recovery on me. I think that it um, it's reliable enough, this game. And Calm Mind helps me boost on a ton of stuff. Uh, if I can get a Calm Mind up before NDD starts smacking me in the face, then uh, I'll be able to tank those hits and two-shot with Hyper Voice very easily. Uh, go to war. I want to be 319. Two sixteen. Okay, there we go. So now Gardevoir is outspeeding in DD. I need to change my notes on that. Outspeeds in DD. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. Um, yeah, so like I said, I, I just think boosting is really effective this game, and with webs up, I could be uh, better. I think that's the main reason I wanted to be modest was because modest guard with webs just blew shit up, but. Um, I'm, now I'm worried about him getting rid of my webs. So uh, I do have webs with Vikavolt, with uh, Volt Switch, Bug Buzz, and Roost. Bit of a weird set here. I'm running enough special attack to be able to consistently two-shot uh, Metagross, I think. Or it might be Rotom, Spidef Rotom Fan or something. I'm can, like consistently two-shotting it with T-Bolt. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head exactly what that is. Um, Roost for some recovery boots because he's got his own rocks that he could set. He's got like three rockers that are all pretty good at setting rocks. Um, and then I'm running enough speed on here to outspeed no speed Vaporeon. Uh, so it should be the same as Empoleon, which it is. So um, yeah, we're going to outspeed no speed Vaporeon, which means I'll, I'll dominate that with a Volt Switch. Going with Volt Switch over Thunderbolt. Um, which is silly because I just talked about Thunderbolt 2 shotting Rotom Fan, but going with Volt Switch over Thunderbolt to get some momentum out of this game, just be able to pivot on some things um, with Vikabolt into something faster that can just pick up a KO. Lots of bulk uh, left over there. Drixel, I'm running a Scarf Drixel set. I wasn't Scarf originally, but I decided to change this Scarf. Um, Scarf Hustle with Bolt Beak, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Pluck. I don't want to be locked into things. Um, like, I don't want to be locked into Outrage with Dragazolt, and Togekiss Garchomp is a really good core for just avoiding each other's weaknesses here. And uh, it's kind of a problem with Dragazolt, because I'd, I'd want to be clicking Bolt Beak most of the time. So if Garchomp doesn't come, I'll be very happy, because I can just spam Bolt Beak. Um, if it does come and Togekiss doesn't come, that's even better, because then I can click Dragon Claw against a lot of stuff. Excuse me, Earthquake is there. Uh, I believe just to catch Incineroar off guard, or to catch Toxtricity if I need... Excuse me, if I needed to. And then I've got Pluck there to hit the Delmise, which is basically the only switch into Dragazolt is Delmise. I'm running Adamant Max Attack, and then I'm running Max Speed. I can guaranteed outspeed Lopany uh, in webs with this spread. I don't believe that it's possible for me um, to outspeed Megalop otherwise, or I have to be really, like, I have to be near Max Speed Jolly, and I think Adamant is more important in this game. Uh, and then last but not least is Darkrai. I'm running Roselli Berry Darkrai for... Uh, either the Deancey or the uh, the Togekiss uh, clicking uh, fairy moves against me, or like Megalop clicking player off or something. It probably won't, but it, it could, I guess, in theory. Uh, nothing else really gets fairy coverage. Oh, Dazzling Gleam from Ndidi. That's another one. Uh, so I'll tank Dazzling Gleam, and then I can Dark Pulse it back and kill it. Um, I'm running enough speed to outrun... Ba -ba -ba. Garchomp, uh, which lets me be modest. Yeah, because he his speed tiers go from Megalop down to Gertromp, which is quite a huge gap, and certainly allows me to run Modest in this matchup, um, which is good because I like getting more damage off. Uh, I've got Dark Pulse, Hypnosis, Ice Beam, and Focus Blast. Hypnosis just sort of buys me some time against the main Dark Rise switch-ins. Uh, he's got Deancey, Togekiss, and Cineroar. All could be very easy Dark Rise switch-ins. I think anything else is probably testing your luck a little bit too much against it. Ice Beam is there to handle the Togekiss and the Garchomp. Um, and it's probably my best neutral hit against the uh, the Deancey if I don't want to go for Focus Blast. Hurt me. And then Focus Blast is there to punish the Incineroar a little bit harder than I could normally. 
So that is the Dark Eye set, and that's what I'm bringing with the team. In terms of what I'm not bringing, I'd love to be bringing Gliscor, but I'm not. Goblurk, uh, another mon that I'd love to be bringing, but I'm not. Um, Cinderace, another mon that I'd love to be bringing, but I'm not. But Porygon kind of shuts down Cinderace, but I just I don't have the slots this week to run all the offensive mons that I want to bring against this team. Venomoth, I had on the build, and I took it off. Um, Toxtricity shuts it down, and I need too many Quiver Dances. It's another match running too many Quiver Dances. And I'd want to be like fully physically defensive Venomoth this game, um, so that I can tank things like Bullet Punch from Mega Metagross. Uh, my God, regular Metagross. But I, I just don't have the ability to do that. And if indeed he's Scarf, like I think it's going to be, I need I need two Quiver Dances, which uh, I'm never going to be able to get two up on this team. Um, and then Red Ice is something else that is not coming for a variety of reasons. Um, I think mainly because I just don't have the recovery options with Red Ice. Otherwise, it could be okay doesn't get like earthquake or anything but um it's it could be okay in this game actually it could handle the pouring at the very least which is something um yeah that's the team hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys for the match